Hello everyone and welcome to last week's news today. Another quiet week, but we've reached the midpoint of this month. We're getting closer to Alpha 2 in October. Some folks were asking about the content creator program and Maggie replied, They haven't begun the invitation phase yet, but if you've already applied, you should be good. Your submission can also still be updated if you need to do so. Just make sure you're using the same email you signed up with. They have just recently hired their program manager, so it will take a couple of weeks before they start and most likely more time beyond that until they're are ready to launch the program. We will start seeing invites then, and even those that don't make it will also be notified and why, so they can reapply in the future after working on what they need to do. Welcome to Team Intrepid Arcane Adam, looking forward to seeing what you'll bring to the table. Next, Mox was asking why. Since there were approximately 7 biomes asset wise, only 4 biomes were being introduced during Alpha 2. Steven replied that there is much more that goes into a zone's creation than the foliage and terrain assets that make up a biome. We are including what is ready for testing in Alpha 2's launch, and will be rolling out additional biomes as they become ready for testing. And something witty reminded some folks on the forums that the current plan is to have all Alpha 1 players invited to the pre-Alpha 2 testing prior to the start of Alpha 2. Now on to some socials. On Monday, they're absolutely still hiring. This week, it was noted that they are looking for a senior anti-cheat engineer, senior VFX artist, and an unreal automation engineer. So if you or your friends are awesome at those roles, apply away. The next three tweets are showing off various parts of the Firebrand video, which I played a part in, and seeing Firebrand come out of the sky caught me by surprise as we were waiting outside the Citadel in a row and all I saw was a quick shadow and the dragon landed right out there, so it was pretty awesome seeing it come in like that. And don't forget, if you want more detailed lore, check out Loreforge. They're pretty awesome for that. Finally, we've got Fan Art Friday, where Gothic Crybaby created an adorable snore sleeping in the wild. And that's it. See y'all next time.